Welcome to our lecture online. Let's take a look and see how much atmosphere Venus actually has because it's hard to appreciate the huge quantity of atmosphere around the planet Venus. One way to do that is to look at the atmospheric pressure and realize that we take Earth's atmospheric pressure and multiply that times 92 because the atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times the atmospheric pressure on the Earth, which means that the atmospheric pressure on Venus is a whopping 1,352 pounds for every square inch of surface. That equates to 95.3 kilograms of atmosphere for every one square centimeter on the surface of Venus. Now we can use that to find the total mass. We take the mass per unit area and multiply that times the area of the planet. So we have to convert the mass per square centimeter to the mass per square meter. So we do that here. 95.3 kilograms per square centimeter. There's 10,000 square centimeters in a square meter. And then we multiply that times the area of the planet, 4 pi r squared. And we get a total mass of 4.4 times 10 to the 20th kilograms. That's a big number, but how do we get kind of a comprehension of what that actually is? Well, when we realize that the mass of one cubic meter of water is equal to 1,000 kilograms, that means that this many kilograms would then be this many cubic meters of water. We simply divide the number by a thousand, and this is the number of cubic meters of water equivalent the atmosphere would be on Venus. So if we take that mass and we turn that into water, then how much water would we have? So let's say we have this much water in volume, and we're going to take that and layer it on top of the planet Earth. So let's say that we have a flat planet Earth. How thick would that layer of water be if we covered the planet Earth with that? The mass equivalent of the atmosphere of Venus in terms of water. Since the volume of something is equal to the cross-sectional area times the height, the height of that water on Earth would be equal to the volume divided by the, the surface area of the Earth. So in this case, we take the total volume, cubic meters, that we got from here, divide by the area surface area of the Earth, 4 pi times the radius squared. The radius of the Earth is a little bit bigger than the radius of Venus. And notice, 860 meters. If we had the same mass of water as we have mass of atmosphere in Venus, that would be an equivalent of a layer of water 860 meters thick. That's almost 3,000 feet thick covering the entire Earth. There is an enormous amount of atmosphere in Venus. And that atmosphere is very hot, and therefore it contains this enormous amount of heat. So again, I hope that gives us an appreciation for how much atmosphere we're dealing with. Now we need to figure out how that greenhouse effect took hold of Venus and why the planet is so hot. That is coming up next.